Hi, I'm Robert Gamblin. In this video, I'd like to discuss a few important points that appear on our technical data sheet. Here it is, the technical data sheet printed out from our website, conservationcolors.com, technical papers, technical data sheet. It contains important information and a few tips that can be very helpful. First thing I'd like to discuss is how to manage the solvent in the jar. There is no perfect container for solvent-based color, such as our conservation colors. A tube is even worse. Since solvent leaks out of the tube, you can be stuck with a solid mass of color inside the tube you cannot easily deal with. The 15 milliliter jar has a wide opening, which is a perfect way for solvent to escape, but this wide opening gives you a chance to manage the solvent level. This cone cap greatly helps in slowing down the evaporation of the solvent, but does not stop it completely from happening. A good practice is that every time you open a jar, put at least a few drops of solvent into the jar with an eyedropper to try and maintain the original solvent content of the color. If you notice the paint is getting thicker, add a few more drops. You can mix it in or not, it's your choice. Just by adding some solvent, you will help the situation. But mix it in the next time you open the jar. If you have a jar that is dried hard from losing most of the solvent, then add solvent to a level just above the color level left in the jar. Put the cap on and let it sit for a few days. For many colors, the solvent will rehydrate the whole bottle on its own. For other colors, you will have to mix the solvent in by using a long, thin palette knife a little bit at a time until the color has re-wet. What solvent should you use for this solvent management? The easiest is to choose a mineral spirit of 100% aromatics, something like a Sol 100 or a xylene or a toluene. The next thing I'd like to discuss is, and this is perhaps the most frequently asked question we get about our conservation colors from conservators and restorers who are moving into our colors for the first time. And that is, what solvent should I use with your colors? That is a working solvent we're talking about. So we recommend that you first try the solvent that you were already using and see if that works. If it does, you will be able to start with our colors with a solvent that you already understand well. Now that being said, we find that most conservators have great success using our colors with a 99% pure isopropanol. If you want to use a mineral spirit, choose one that has at least 40% aromatics. And on the technical data sheet, you will find a list of other solvents and mixtures of solvents that conservators have told us work well for them. Thank you, and let us know if you have any questions. You can contact me directly at robert at conservationcolors.com.